Hey everybody, so this is Ash Daddy. I'm going to be showing you how to import a mod list um, the easy way. So I know there's a lot of confusion about this, so just forget everything you know about how to import a mod list. This is really the best way to do it. So when you go to Discord and you download a mod list, so say we go to mine, we're going to go to the, the events per se. This is the mod list that we just used. All you're going to do is go to download. <clears throat> And you're going to save it to your desktop. Okay, so this is the Sierra Whiskey Event TFAR one. Save it, and we're going to find it on the desktop. That's right here. It's going to be saved as an HTML file. Okay, we're going to bring up the Arma Launcher. Um, let's see what this looks like. So this is everything that was in this mod list. So you can go ahead and look at all of them if you want but it's not completely necessary. So you see here on the Arma launcher, there's no loaded mods. They're all completely unloaded. You're not gonna drag this over or anything. What you're gonna do, go to presets, import, and you're gonna find this um, HTML file on your desktop. So it should be called Sierra Whiskey. So I have them, I have two of them, they're duplicates. So we'll do the one I just downloaded. I'm gonna open it up. And it's going to ask to overwrite if you already have this saved as a preset. Just overwrite it. It's going to load all of the mods that you need. All 21 mods that we used last time are right here. If you don't have subscriptions to any of these, it'll ask if you want to subscribe to all the mods to complete the mod list. And you'll just say yes. And it'll download and install them into your loaded mods. Last thing you're going to do is the imported preset. It's going to go to it and rename it. So we'll just call it, um, I don't know, mod list. Whatever you want to call it. There's modern mod list that we use. Uh, whatever will allow you to remember this mod list uh, so that you can reload it next time. And that's really all I got, folks. So thank you very much. Um, and if you ever need this tutorial, it's a very simple way to do imports.